and we we can always get sharp snapbacks in this kind of a market. But our support target is is at 62. You know, our, our typical 62 target with at 61, right below it, at 60.75. That's a hidden support. You can see it right here. <clears throat> that was to remind myself that we we had that significant low at 60.75. So we're probably going to get some bounces here and there. And all I can say is, you know, traders that are waking up um, are trying to figure out, well, do I play the long side? Do I play the short side after all this range? And my game plan has been to hit bounces. So I had said uh, early morning when I got up, 82 was resistance. I since dropped it to 78 and then to 75 on that bounce because we had a magnet at 72.75 at and that was the perfect bounce right into that to hit it one more time. And if you saw me out on Twitter, I said, you know, I just telling people my thought, we made a lower high. This is kings and queens, and that usually tells you you're going to get another new low, which we've done already. And if we can get the um, you know, there's a measured move to try to get to 56, as we talked about the other day. So in my opinion, got to break the 62 to 61 region first, and it's any day low. So stops down, great trade if you took this resistance bounce. And I'm not in the business of trying to call <clears throat> anything other than the, the next idea that I see. This is that 61 that, that we had seen before. And I said today, trailers are hailers day, meaning try to get short and stay short. And I said ultimately that 64 will fail. But these are hidden pivots right here. Market will have memory. So if you're a weekend, make sure you get paid into the 62 to 61. And then just accept stop outs and try re-entry. My primary target was to break that 64 and get to 61 to 62. And I, I just don't want to mislead everybody and think, uh, I think we can just crash and go flying through everything. We've got to break this level. This is a hidden pivot. So that relationship that we just talked about is still intact. And as far as I'm concerned, most important thing we can do today is stay unemotional. Understand that we can get sharp V bounces. Now everybody's got their 50 target and whatever, but you still have to go step by step. And along the way, we're going to get some some sharp punches. Okay, we had said 72 to 73 sharp resistance for now until we break um, this high right here, right? That's going to be our resistance for now. And that's right back here at that 75 zone. So on new lows, I know most traders don't like to do it, but on new lows, you should usually think of capturing because usually you'll get traders that will capture and it'll bounce, and then that way you're, you're free to take another shot. And you'll miss one maybe, but you'll make more money, I think, overall by capturing on the new lows on the targets, and then re-enter. This is retesting already that 64 low. So I'm, what I'm going to use is, uh, let's use the idea of, of base resistance today at 78. I'd said 82, but at this point, 78. And if the market gets back to that 68, 69 region, that will be in be another area of contention. 
I, I think that may become pivotal today. I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Anyways, great trade already. And I, I said be very careful of that 61 support when we hit. 61 and a quarter. Because it's a hidden pivot. Thank you, Zeke. Well, normally I wouldn't be up quite that early, but I was up early today. Your counterpart, uh, my cat named Zeke, uh, started screaming about quarter after five. I just said, a heck with it, I'm getting off. And I read it right. I just said, you know, we're, we're going to go down. At the time that, you know, we, we were in, in, the, uh, in the knife, and I could see, I went right to this chart here, and I could see it. Because this thing had broke the 78. I just said, we're going down. We're going, we're going to take out that 68 and 64 today. And this is the trend line that I put on that I saw that's really been quite helpful, actually. This is normal to get these kind of bounces because traders want to take some profits along the way. <laughs> Usually you won't get just a straight downhill knife. You're going you're gonna to get some kind of a reaction like this. So we won't get just a, because that's the nature of, of these uh, umbrella trades. You'll get a sharp sell-off, and then you're going to get some ending diagonals. Here's one, two, three already. So I, as I said the other day, that there are going to be some traders who are going to try to use this 62, the 61, as, as a hidden pivot. Um, I think ultimately we're going lower, but... This is why I said be careful coming into the 62 rate region. And this is a 10 minute chart I've got on here. And for now, let's put a five. The five's been working pretty well. Okay, take care, Mike. And today is hit bounces, go with the flow until proven otherwise. We will get contras. We will probably get a sharp contra before we're done. <clears throat> There's a big boy pivot underneath us. And the measured move that I was thinking of today was if we could get to that uh, 56 target. Hallelujah. And anything goes on a day like today. So for now, this 72 back here is key resistance. Gets above that, anything can happen. And we've made a new low, <clears throat> taking out that 64. So, you know, we said all along, hit bounces. This, two, this 480 chart yesterday, really a key chart. And then all this is done in low volume overnight. So a reminder, we will be getting snapbacks along the way. Just the way it is. And Zeke, great call yesterday. Absolutely fabulous call.